before no idea. Like alpha footage. Yeah. This is this is it, dude. This is the alpha. Well, the Minecraft you, killer. I think that's the question. You're gonna become. And, and you know what? You're gonna become the fear satisfaction player. You're I I, like I should I should say that this this isn't. I didn't get into the closed beta, which has been going on for months now. Uh, this is just the the kind of well the the alpha. This is the open alpha test weekend. You still had to register for it a while ago. I'm pretty sure. But it's it's just for this weekend, and then it goes early access on the 19th or the 16th. So I'll probably be getting it. So I just now am getting close to the completion of the tier. So now I'm just kind of waiting for everything to be built. Isn't a space elevator completely unrealistic in, like, practice? Like, isn't it, like, completely, like... I thought it was, like, the most possible way of doing easy... Leaving You're atmosphere. unrealistic, random practice. That, but that's essentially like building a ladder in space, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we do not possess the capability to do it now, but, like, it's... It's the ideal solution instead of, you know, launching a rocket through the atmosphere every time we want to leave. What do you think? What do you know about space? Yeah. I mean, like, I thought, like, the whole privatization of the space was, like, to end up with, you know, routine, know. routine space flight, which would eventually lead to, like, you know, the asteroid mining, which would then give us enough resources and already outside of the atmosphere materials and stuff to build the elevator. But when you have an object that falls leaving like the atmosphere like that the rotation of the earth no. you know, too much for it to stand off or like wouldn't it collapse on itself? No. Because like how how would the very base of it be support the weight of a structure of that fall? You know what I mean? Well the other half is isn't in gravity, right? Uh, I mean, that... I don't know about that. Man, this is kind of <laughs> I mean, I'm no theoretical physicist or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but, like, there's out. there's a reason it's, like, the most common kind of semi-possible sci-fi thing. Yeah, we like don't I said, know if it's possible. It's optional, okay? If, if anything's I'm possible. I mean, like, our, our options for, like... Get out of here. Yeah, the base, that's fucking all the other thing. Well, it's like, in... Okay, so, so maybe you're not thinking of, like, the space, a space elevator as you, as you think of it. What if it, we just had a okay. space station and just, like, ran a cable down? You know the majority of astronauts have been to space right now? They've all been geologists. Did you know the majority of astronauts have also played an arcade before? You know what? Astronomy basically is space geology. That's kind of said resources. That's all it is. I think I'm more than qualified to talk about astronomy. Isn't geology the study of Earth? Yeah, no, honestly, and, that's a so little and, quite no, physically out of your no, field there, buddy. And you oh. are literally <laughs> something about leaving Earth. Yeah, so. no, it's not. <laughs> the study of the rock we'll, we'll call you when, you, uh, made of when the we hit a national We'll, we'll call you when we need system. to figure out uh, this, the soil that we're going to build this on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> except, except it's vacuum, so... No. <laughs> Like basically our, like yeah, I thought the whole thing with the space elevator is like realistically you would build it down like from space to the Earth, right? Yeah, but you need to, you so see, it would need to be built down from an object that's in geosynchronous orbit that wouldn't leave a, a direct position above the Earth, correct? Like. Because once you start... I mean, you're not going to make it like... You're not going to make a space elevator like a perfectly solid object. You're going to build it to be, bend a bit. Well, because once you start... Because an object in space is essentially free-falling. But it's free-falling faster than it can... Than it's falling to the ground. You know, it's falling sideways. But once you start building something down from the space station into the atmosphere, that object is going to start experiencing drag. And... It's going to start like flexing, and it could, it, and and in turn, the space station would experience drag because it's now in the atmosphere, essentially. Okay, but what if you put rockets on the space station? The whole uh, well, the rockets would constantly need to be going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, hey, now we have a way to bring fuel up, 
And I'm sure it's more efficient than launching something through the atmosphere every time. That's why I'm saying like it would have to be in geosynchronous. Like the the space station would need to be constantly going. I guess that yeah, the, the rockets that makes sense. It would have to constantly be going the exact speed of the Earth, constantly. Yeah. That way, when the uh, when the tube is going down to the Earth, it would need it wouldn't experience any drag because it's it would essentially be weightless. I guess. But then. If, if the tube is going through the atmosphere and it's getting close to Earth, would that would it be experiencing gravity greater than the object in space? Well, yeah, because there is no gravity, obviously. So, so will the gravity on the tube going towards Earth pull the oh. space station down? Well, no, that's what the rockets are for. So it would. So the rockets would not only be firing at all times sideways to All right. keep up the momentum, well, but it would also be firing up. So, like, at this point, we'd at, when up. we have the capability to build a space elevator, we'd probably have, like, ion thrusters or something that are very low, you know, either, like, non-fuel or very low energy consumption. I think we should figure out how to teleport things in space. See... Is we like that. As long as you're not teleporting organic matter, that could be feasible, I guess. I don't know how you teleport organic matter, because think of it like this, like if you were like in Star Trek, I've never watched Star Trek, but I, you know like the teleporter that they use where they the, like phase the out The transporter? Phase yeah. Gosh. The, oh yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> um, you know, when they transport somebody and that person is like transform, like all the atoms of their body. Yeah, that raises like a moral apart. question of like, it's, are they, they, they just got disassembled, they're dead. Yeah, are they still people? Uh, do they still have a soul? Are they still alive? Or, or, they're just or, recreated yeah. as a person who has the same uh, memories. Yeah, they're basically a clone. It's like, uh, you ever see that, uh, that movie, The Prestige? No. It's a good movie. Prestige. It's the it's same situation of, like, glit. teleporting, it, it doesn't move you. It So it's like a battle of two magicians, kind of. And one of them goes to Tesla to get a machine brought to tell, uh, made to teleport oh, yeah. him. But it, it doesn't teleport you; it just clones you into a different area. The so ev every every time this guy did this teleport trick, you know, he he would teleport, but then the original him would just drop down into a tank and drown, and they'd carry oh. the body away. So it looked like he teleported. It was, it's it's crazy. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Gonna be on HDO2 tomorrow at 4:45. What? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh man! <sighs> fucking two away from the space elevator. Build concrete faster, you fucking machine. Yeah, space elevator are easy. This is an arc. <laughs> this, is, this is satisfactory. I need to get some more power slugs to overclock. Alright. Space elevator. Space elevator. Space elevator. Oh, fuck. Oh, don't tell me. That'll do. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, 
That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, I didn't build the space elevator. I just built the ground attachment. Then the space station above just dropped a tether down. Okay. And here come. Oh. God, this game just fucking looks cool. God. Madden or no? I'm up for Madden. I'm, 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 I'm actually on oh. uh, My parents left, so they just come here. We can drink. <laughs> I'm gonna trash my house. A bad idea. <clears throat> yeah, actually, I'll probably get some food before I join. Alright, so that's the case. Yeah, I'll be there. I go drink. Okay, so I've built the space elevator. Now, how do I access the space elevator? Alright, so we'll probably just go get dinner and watch. Here we go. Watch your movie. Oh, no, it's too late. It's already started. I'm Ooh. Mm -hmm. right. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know if any of this is ever to... Watch the yeah. Boy, I am extremely happy. The first two just things go. I need are things I just finished out of. <clears throat> Going over to Jersey tomorrow. Fun. Should we tomorrow, right? I've been 70 over here, so I'm be... I just don't know if it's gonna rain. Yeah, it's gonna be like cloudy here, but like really warm. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Not here yesterday. Yeah, it's so. beautiful. I can stick a snow. Come on, crap. No, I didn't get snow. It's like we get like one inch of snow and then it melts. And we get another inch of snow and then it melts. Fucking bullshit. Peel me. Mm. Oh, that's like my delivery guy are going. You're like fucking like yellow. <laughs> 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 I have to over here. <laughs> tracking this. I'm tracking them driving. He's heading towards DC, what the hell? <laughs> Did I put the wrong house? <sighs> I guess they have two other deliveries, man. I'm not the only delivery in this universe. <clears throat> Alright guys, if we're not playing anything, I'm just gonna get off. Alright. I'll see you probably, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll no more. Alright. Bye. I'm a fucking quitter. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Alright guys, see ya. Enjoy your night, yep. User disconnected from your channel. I wanna lose this, yeah. Why, why does he even get on? Jesus. Yeah. Can't he knows anything about space elevators? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, yeah, the, this, he came on and just talked about space elevators and said, ah, I'm, I'm out. Someone just watched a video on space elevators. <laughs> yeah, I'm the drag. This is a class that you take in your life, Randy, so. Sure. Wait, siren? Yeah. No, that's me whistling. I, I just launched my first package up the space elevator. Ah. See. Does it do? Oh. Oh, there it goes. I think. Okay, so it's... Sending wasn't as cool as I thought it was, I guess.
started. Well, I've been trying to start the automation for that. It shouldn't be too much of a hit. <gasps> Coal power. Coal. Oh, fuck. Thousand wire, what the fuck? Let's get this one. Yeah, I was going to like fucking let China. This is getting the Atlantic Ocean now. Should have made screws a dual process. But if I get those new belts, that should solve my issue. Because I can make them plenty fast, I just can't transport them. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck, I've created a little labyrinth here. It's so fucking hard to get out of this fucking conveyor belt jungle. as well as the construction of outposts is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit Christ, the coal is far away. Something for another day. 